Rivers have been the lifeblood of civilization since time immemorial. These flowing veins of water have nurtured societies, given rise to great cities, and defined borders of nations. They've witnessed the rise and fall of empires, and have been silent spectators to humanity's triumphs and failures. From the cradle of ancient civilizations to the bustling metropolises of today, rivers have played a pivotal role. Join us as we embark on a journey to discover the top 10 longest rivers that have shaped our world. Starting in Africa, we encounter the Nile, the world's longest river. Stretching an impressive 4,135 miles, the Nile has carved its way through the desert sands, shaping the course of human history in its wake. This mighty river has been a lifeline for civilizations, most notably the ancient Egyptians. The fertile lands along its banks were the cradle of the pharaoh's civilization. The Nile's annual floods brought nutrient-rich silt, turning the otherwise barren desert into an oasis of green, making agriculture possible in an inhospitable land. The Nile also served as a highway, connecting different regions of Egypt, from the Great Pyramids of Giza to the temples of Luxor and Karnak. The Nile's waters reflected the grandeur of these monumental architectures. The river became the backbone of trade, transport and communication, fostering the development of one of the world's oldest civilizations. Moreover, the Nile was deeply embedded in the spiritual and cultural life of the ancient Egyptians. They revered it as a god, believing it to be a source of life and death, a belief that echoes in their art, mythology and rituals. Today, the Nile continues to sustain life, providing water to millions of people and supporting agriculture in 11 countries. It's a testament to the enduring power of nature, shaping landscapes and civilizations alike. The Nile, a river that bore witness to the rise and fall of the pharaohs and continues to nourish life in the desert. Next, we traverse to South America to explore the Amazon, a river teeming with life. The Amazon River, a titan among rivers, boasts the largest drainage basin on the planet, covering an area larger than the entire continent of Australia. This vast basin, combined with the tropical climate, creates a hotbed for biodiversity. The Amazon rainforest, which the river nourishes, is often referred to as the lungs of the earth, as it produces a significant portion of the world's oxygen. The river and its tributaries are home to a staggering variety of species, many of which are found nowhere else. From the elusive jaguar to the vibrant macaw, life thrives here in all its myriad forms. Interlaced with this rich biodiversity are the indigenous cultures that call the Amazon home. These communities have lived in harmony with the river and its forest for thousands of years, their lifestyles intricately intertwined with the rhythm of the Amazon. They have developed a deep understanding of the river's ecosystem, a knowledge passed down through generations. From its source in the Peruvian Andes to its wide mouth at the Atlantic Ocean, the Amazon River is not just a waterway. It is a life source, a cultural hub, and a biodiversity hotspot. As we explore its length and breadth, we are reminded of its immense value to our planet and the pressing need to protect it. The Amazon, a testament to the astounding diversity and resilience of life on Earth. In the east, the Yangtze courses through the heart of China. This mighty river, the third longest in the world, is so much more than a waterway. It's a lifeline, a source of sustenance, and a cornerstone of the nation's economy. The Yangtze plays a significant role in China's bustling economy. It's a vital transportation route, connecting the bustling coastal cities to the heartland. The river's basin, rich and fertile, is an agricultural goldmine, producing a significant portion of the nation's crops. It's also home to many of China's burgeoning industries, from manufacturing to technology. But the Yangtze is not just about economics. It's steeped in culture and history. For thousands of years, it has been a muse for poets and artists, a place of myth and legend. It's where the ancient bar culture thrived and where the modern metropolis of Shanghai now stands. One of the most significant landmarks along the Yangtze is the Three Gorges Dam. This enormous hydroelectric dam is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It provides power to millions and aids in flood control, yet it also symbolizes the delicate balance between progress and preservation, a topic that continues to spark debate. The Yangtze, an artery of commerce and culture in the world's most populous nation. It's a testament to the power of nature and the indomitable spirit of humanity, a river that truly shapes the world. From China, 
we journey across the Pacific to the Mississippi, Missouri, the backbone of America. The Mississippi, Missouri is more than just a river. It's a vibrant tapestry woven with stories of American history, commerce, and diverse ecosystems. This river system, the fourth longest in the world, has served as a lifeline for countless civilizations and communities. From the days of the indigenous tribes to the era of European explorers, the Mississippi, Missouri has played a pivotal role in shaping the American narrative. It has been a silent witness to the rise and fall of empires, the bloody civil war battles, and the transformative civil rights movement. But the river is not just a historical artifact. It's a bustling conduit of commerce. From the grain-laden barges of the American heartland to the bustling ports of New Orleans, the Mississippi, Missouri continues to fuel the American economy, connecting landlocked states to the rest of the world. Beyond its historical and commercial significance, the river is also home to a diverse range of ecosystems. From the deep woods of Minnesota to the swamps of Louisiana, the river supports a vast array of wildlife, making it a haven for nature lovers and conservationists alike. Indeed, the Mississippi, Missouri is a living testament to the resilience and dynamism of America. It's a river that has carved its mark on the American landscape and psyche, a river that continues to flow, just as the nation it has helped shape continues to evolve. The Mississippi, Missouri, a river that has carved its mark on the American landscape and psyche. Next, we head to the frozen expanses of Siberia, home to the mighty Yenisei. The Yenisei, the largest river system flowing to the Arctic Ocean, carves its path through the heart of Siberia. Stretching over 2,000 miles, it's a river of superlatives, the fifth longest river in the world and the most voluminous in Russia. But what makes the Yenisei truly remarkable is its journey. The river begins its voyage high in the Mongolian mountains, winding its way through the rugged terrain before widening into a colossal waterway. It eventually merges with the Kara Sea, a marginal sea of the Arctic Ocean. In the harsh Siberian landscape, the Yenisei has long been a lifeline. Its waters have served as a crucial navigation route, connecting remote Siberian settlements with the rest of the world. Even during the long, brutal winters when the river's surface freezes solid, it transforms into a natural highway for sleds and ice roads. The river has also played a vital role in Russia's economy. Its banks are rich with minerals, fostering mining industries, while its waters power hydroelectric plants, including the massive Sayano Shushenskaya Dam, the largest power plant in Russia and one of the biggest in the world. The Yenisei is not just a river, it's an artery of life, culture and commerce, pulsing through the vast, icy wilderness of Siberia. The Yenisei, a lifeline in the vast, icy wilderness of Siberia. Back to China, we explore the Yellow River, the cradle of Chinese civilization. Known as Huanghe in Chinese, this river, the sixth longest in the world, has played a pivotal role in shaping the course of Chinese history. Its fertile banks, the birthplace of ancient Chinese civilization, were the scene of early human settlement agriculture and cultural development. The river's lowest soil, carried along its course, gave the water its distinctive yellow colour and allowed for rich farming, thus earning it the nickname of China's Mother River. But the Yellow River's story isn't just one of bounty and life-giving sustenance. Over the centuries, it has been both a blessing and a curse. The same sediment that provided fertile soil also caused frequent devastating floods earning it another, less benign nickname, China's Sorrow. Yet the people living along the Yellow River have displayed remarkable resilience and ingenuity in facing these challenges. They've built elaborate systems of dikes, dams and canals to control the river's flow and harness its power. Today, the Yellow River continues to be a vital resource, providing water for millions and supporting a multitude of industries. The Yellow River, a testament to the perseverance and ingenuity of the Chinese people. Returning to Russia, we navigate the Obi Irtysh, a river that dominates the Siberian landscape. The Obi Irtysh River system, the seventh longest in the world, is a lifeline for the vast, often frigid expanse of Siberia. Tracing a path of over 3,000 miles, the Obi Irtysh is like a colossal ribbon winding its way from the Altai Mountains, across the West Siberian Plain, and finally pouring into the Arctic Ocean. This immense river system is, in many ways, the backbone of Siberia, providing essential transportation routes, particularly in the winter when the river becomes a frozen highway for vehicles. 
The Obiatish's geographical significance to Russia is remarkable. It's not just a river, it's a critical artery of commerce, linking remote communities and bustling cities alike. It's a source of power, with hydroelectric plants nestled along its course. And it's a provider of sustenance, with its waters nurturing the agriculture and fisheries that feed the region. Moreover, the Ob Irtish is a testament to the resilience of nature. Despite the harsh Siberian winters, the river supports a diverse range of wildlife. From the Siberian sturgeon, a species that has swum these waters since the time of the dinosaurs, to the rare and elusive Siberian tiger, the Ob Irtish is a living, breathing testament to the tenacity of life in extreme conditions. The Ob Irtish, a vital thread in the fabric of Siberian geography and life. We return to South America to journey along the Parana Rio de la Plata, a river that courses through the heart of the continent. This waterway, a confluence of the Parana and Uruguay rivers, is more than a geographical feature. It's a lifeline that pulses with the rhythm of the cities and agricultural regions it traverses. The Parana Rio de la Plata system is a vital artery of commerce, nourishing the economies of Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. As it flows, it passes through vibrant cities like Buenos Aires and Rosario, offering a unique perspective of South American urban life. But it's not just about the urban landscape. Much of the Parana Rio de la Plata's course winds through lush agricultural regions, providing water for the fertile lands that produce soybeans, wheat and corn. This river is the lifeblood of these economies, powering a cycle of growth and harvest that has shaped the region for generations. It's also a significant ecological corridor, home to diverse wildlife and aquatic ecosystems. From the capybara, the world's largest rodent, to the elusive jaguar, this river system is a testament to the incredible biodiversity of South America. The Parana Rio de la Plata is a symbol of the dynamic interplay between nature and human activity, a river that showcases the resilience and resourcefulness of the people who live along its banks. The Parana Rio de la Plata a river that embodies the vibrancy and diversity of South America. Back in Africa, we explore the Congo, a river that pulses with the rhythm of the rainforest. The Congo River, the world's second longest river, is a lifeline for the Congo rainforest, one of the largest and most biodiverse rainforests on Earth. This magnificent river, slicing through the heart of Africa, is an essential artery for transport and trade, providing a vital lifeline to remote communities. The Congo River is steeped in mystery and allure, with its waters teeming with a rich array of aquatic life. It's home to more than 700 species of fish, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. This extraordinary biodiversity is a testament to the river's role as a cradle of life. The river's energy is also harnessed for power. The Inga dams, despite being mired in controversy and challenges, have the potential to generate a significant portion of Africa's electricity needs. Local economies along the river's course heavily rely on it. From fishing to transport, the Congo River is integral to their survival and development. It's a bustling waterway, teeming with canoes and boats, transporting goods and people from village to village. But this crucial river is under threat from deforestation and climate change. These threats not only jeopardize the river's health, but also the millions of people and countless species that rely on it. The Congo, a river that nourishes one of the world's most important and threatened ecosystems. Finally, on the border of Russia and China, the Amur flows as a symbol of unity and diversity. This river, the tenth longest in the world, has a fascinating tale to tell. It stretches approximately 2,800 miles, serving as a natural divider and an ecological bridge between these two powerful nations. The Amur is a testament to the complex web of life, it's not just a waterway, it's a lifeline that supports an abundance of unique wildlife. This includes the majestic and critically endangered Amur leopard and the Siberian tiger, the largest of the tiger species. Their survival is deeply intertwined with the health of this river. The Amur's watershed is home to diverse cultures and communities as well, reflecting a rich tapestry of human history and coexistence. From the indigenous Nanai and Udaje peoples, who have lived in harmony with the river for centuries, to the modern cities that have sprouted on its banks, the Amur has shaped lives and livelihoods. But the river also faces challenges. Pollution, 
overfishing and dam construction threaten its ecological balance. Yet it continues to flow, resilient and enduring, a testament to the power of nature. The Amur, a river that reminds us of the interconnectedness and interdependence of our world. It is a symbol of how, despite our borders and differences, we are all part of the same ecosystem, bound by the same life-giving waters. From Africa to Asia, from the Americas to Europe, rivers have shaped our world. These mighty waterways, the lifeblood of our planet, have been instrumental in shaping civilizations, nurturing biodiversity and carving the face of continents. Their ceaseless flow mirrors the relentless march of time and the continuous evolution of life. As we continue to navigate our world, may we learn from these rivers, the arteries of our planet. Until next time, keep exploring.